Hi everyone and welcome to another food tasting Forking to Walters video. So with Nelvin and I here you might have guessed that we are tasting spicy food again. One Malaysian and one Hungarian spicy dish. Mm -hmm. And we will report back to you on the taste. <laughs> All right, so what do we have here? So we are starting with the Malaysian one. This is called Ayam Masa Mera. Which, ayam is chicken. Yes, very good. So uh, Ayam Masa Mera means chicken cooked red. Yes, <laughs> confirmed. <laughs> so uh, this is this is not that spicy as well. So okay. it is um, actually cooked in spicy tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. Um, or tomato Baby. stew. <laughs> that is a kaffir lime. Oh, do you eat it? N I, I don't usually. <laughs> okay, yes. So I was correct in. <laughs> yes. I thought it was bay leaves because you don't. Really so it would be nice them. if you actually try it alone without the rice, but of okay. course it must be eaten I will with do. rice. So here's a piece of chicken. Lemon grass or something. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Ginger? Mmm. No, garlic, I don't know, so, something like a curry, lemongrassy. <laughs> Turmeric. Turmeric, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that's the, the curry bit I was referring to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the interesting thing is, this is the least curry of all the, 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 the spicy dishes that, that we have. Um, because it is meant to be, it is, you can add coconut milk, there are recipes mm -hmm. that add coconut milk, but I chose to opt for the one without. Um, I use a homemade chili paste, mm -hmm. so I made it on my own with um, ginger and uh, a little bit of garlic mm -hmm. and onion. I think this is just like a subtle spicy taste, it's not meant to be overpowering. Yeah, it's, it's not sort of not making me into dragon yeah. or anything. Uh, what I like is that hint of spice behind the tomato. Um, yeah, I use I use tomato paste with the um, the marker. The mm -hmm. But I see what you mean, tasting it with and without the rice. Mm -hmm. It's like it's a completely different taste. Well, not completely, of course, but it's a very distinct taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is actually a very traditional Malaysian dish. Um, it's usually served with something called nasi tomato, which is a tomato rice, um, which I did not make here because I do not know how to make it. <laughs> <laughs> um, in, I have read that usually this um, is served in, I guess in the past, in really specific events, like uh, like wedding. Oh, mm -hmm. do you feel special? Yeah, but I mean nowadays you can find it in many many restaurants. Um, I am a mm. I really like it. Because uh, it is very different from the usual curry that we have. So yes. I, mm -hmm. it's not as soupy. Exactly. It can be though. If you want more gravy with it, you can add water. But I decided against it because for me, I feel like the authentic one needs to be a little bit on the drier um, side. Okay. Yeah. And because this is such a traditional dish, sometimes there are there exist thousands of recipes. That, that uses different things. So for example, some use like star anise. Um, I can see that going with this. Exactly. So I added cloves mm -hmm. and a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah. Just for the added spice. But you can mm -hmm. do without. So I gave a list to Petra as well to choose. Um, <laughs> she picked something that I couldn't find one of the items for. So I opted out for something a little bit different. And, and honestly, this is my second time making this and it tasted much better than the first time I made it. So. It tastes really good now as well. All of them on Nelvin's list were basically like chicken, mint, lemongrass, ginger. Well, I can't eat so beef, so mostly a chicken. There are beef versions of it. Um, the interesting thing is they use mostly similar ingredients, but they come out absolutely different. Just like one ingredient change and the flavor changes. So this is one of my favorite because it is it just have a very different taste to it. Yeah, really good. Is it because of the tomato? Or do you yes. have like tomato in front of curry? No, uh, tomato is not commonly used in most of the uh, curry. So like the, the last one that you tried, ayam perche, mm -hmm. that one uh, is slightly on on. There's the... coconut milk and ginger. exactly and turmeric as well. Some of those things are really hard to make. You could try to find mm. like a packet of a ready-made one and add your spices to right. it. But um, I feel like that defeats the purpose, so. <laughs> yes. 
I made this myself, let's just say. <laughs> Even the chili taste though. And it's really good. I definitely need my water. <laughs> <laughs> really? You can taste the spice? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I mean like our tolerance level is probably very different, but <laughs> then I'm glad that it worked. I liked it. I like it. I like spicy food and I like how it sort of <laughs> cleans up your entire head <laughs> by the time you finish the dish. All right, ready for your Hungarian spicy dish? Yes. So we have paprikás krumpli, which is potatoes with paprika. <laughs> Very literally translated and it's basically that so paprika powder mm -hmm. and some you know, some um, spicy sausages oh, and some wiener sausages with the potatoes and what we usually do or what i usually do anyway because it's a bit it has a bit of a soup around it mm -hmm. from the the water you cook it in so what i usually do is that i just sort of push down the potatoes with my fork so that they soak up the flavour in the soup. Ooh, fancy! <laughs> yes, I, I don't know if I would do this in a restaurant, <laughs> I definitely do this at home. <laughs> <laughs> and um, then I sort of mix it in and then have a little sausage with the potatoes and then eat it like that. Okay. And as with most Hungarian dishes, we eat some pickled vegetables with it. And I have pickled beetroot at home because that's what I like. Mm -hmm. We can have gherkins or like the like the little gherkins mm -hmm. or Ooh. pickled garlic or tomatoes or pearl onions or whatever. It goes really well together. Mm. Mm. What do you think? It's very nice. This is like a full meal on its own. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you have your pickled veggie, you have some meat, you have some carbs and some soup. And it's spicy. It's, you know, it's spicier yeah. than, of course, the broth. Yeah. <clears throat> I think the paprika powder and the spicy sausage goes quite well together. I might have put a little cayenne pepper in it as well. Ooh. Because that's, that's what I like. Every time I put paprika in something, like a Hungarian dish, I put some cayenne pepper on it as mm -hmm. well and to have a little more kick. But I mean the the spicy flavour definitely comes from the the sausage. Mm -hmm. They already make this spicy. Mm. So you can eat this raw, it's fine. It's mm -hmm. not like a wiener sausages or like bratwurst in yeah. Germany. It's um, something that we also put on I don't know like sandwiches you can put it on or eat it with bread for, mm -hmm. I don't know, breakfast. I don't really do it, <laughs> I don't know. But we also put it in um, scrambled eggs with onions and that's mm -hmm. like a sort of like very Hungarian thing to do. Oh, like scrambled egg with onions. onions. Is also onions with scrambled, yeah. It is still not very high up top on the spicy level, no, but I can not. taste the, the spice. I, I like it. Yeah, it's, it's very different, like... Um, European versus Asian mm -hmm. spiciness is very different because for us it's more from the paprika and the onion mm -hmm. and not really going into like the chili or curry mm -hmm. direction. It's very very different. That is true. We should make this a series. <laughs> we just cook and eat and cook and eat. Oh, that sounds that sounds perfect. We're gonna That's become an eating yeah. channel. <laughs> International cuisine. I mean, I barely cook typical Hungarian dishes, so it's, it's nice to, you know, sort of go back to the basics. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I actually never really cooked back in Malaysia. So when I came here and I have to cook my own, I was a little worried at first, but it turns out I'm a natural talent. So... <laughs> I so... can second that. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually very quick. It's done in like 45 minutes, including pinning the potatoes and chopping up the onions. Mm -hmm. Most of the time it's not the cooking time, right? Most of the time it's the prep time. The prep time, mm -hmm. yeah. Like for this one, I only found very tiny potatoes, like these spring mm -hmm. potatoes. Because mm. they, I don't know, they didn't have any other ones in the shop. It just took so long to <laughs> feel like a kilo of these tiny potatoes. <laughs> so the question is, have you tried these food before? 
whether you're Hungarian or Malaysian or from anywhere. And what are some of your favorite spicy food? Or what food would you like to see us try? Yes. We would love some recipes with links or videos. <laughs> that would be great. And then we can try making them. Köszönjük, hogy megnéztétek a videónkat! Támogatok, miket? Elhazadok fel! Ne felejtsetek el a csengőt!